Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Metroid Fusion. In the last episode, we found some really cheesy things about our government. That being said, currently continuing on. We have a mission, but are we really going to go through with it? Just ignoring what we saw here. Yeah, peaceful application for Omega Metroids. What could go wrong? Really. The idea that any Metroid could be used for good is shocking to me. There's a way to get up from there, but there's also doors down here. We're gonna be exploring first. Save is always great. Thanks to our trusty ice missile diffuser, we can get rid of multiple of those at once. Aw, oh, man. Do one more power bomb just to be sure, and we're good. More liquors again. If possible, try to kill them. And get all of their. So, in order to kill this guy, you have to do the old back attack trick. Fortunately, there's multiples. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Another save room. Be sure to use that if you already beat the Golden Choza or Golden Pirate. The thing that baffles me though, why recreate the Space Pirates? And this place. That's another thing, these guys will turn into golden choses. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's freeze everybody. They're hopefully not in an annoying position. Boss time! Despite the fact that might not realize it, it is boss time. And we are weaker. It's just a carcass, it's just a mummy. You woke up to it. It isn't a Metroid game until you fight Ridley. Come on, let me go. Except this one is arguably creepier.
Do 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 do. And go. Eat missiles. I might die. I'm probably gonna die. I'm not gonna beat you, I don't think. I'm gonna try, but... Yep. I beat the Ridley part, not the X part. Which is another thing that I'd like to mention. Um... Like, that I've been saying this entire time. Is it's really, really rough... To... Um... Beat the X sometimes, because... You'll be fighting them, and then next thing you know... They'll show their true X form, and you have to kill that, too. Also, man, evil Ridley is loud. And creepy. Come on, please open your eye. Oh. There we go. All right, take two. <sighs> Mentally preparing myself here. Come on. No mercy, Ridley. You may have been a cool space pirate king in one game. But you're now an ex-revived corpse. Come on. Come on. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough energy tanks for this, to be honest. All I gotta do is juke him. Or try to. What the? Controller! Don't kill me, controller! You killed me, controller. Uh. My controller has a thing of, um, randomly deciding not to work, so... That's fun. Experiencing that now. All right. I guess you could use liquor base as a means of Come on. as a form of energy regeneration, but... Eat 
meat, missile red meat. Eat missile Ridley. Screaming. Come on, you've got to be close to dead. All right, one more chance. The bad thing about the X form is it's so fast and so unpredictable and like Ridley that it's incredibly hard to dodge. Alright, let's take that on again. Come on, Ridley. I don't care if it's cheap shots. That was way better than the last few times. I'm not losing to you, Ridley. Or zombie Ridley. And neither do you, body snatcher. Screw attack. Some resultant enemies. Ah, screw attack. It's good to have you. This is the ability we needed to move forward. Any of those things you've seen before that we could destroy, we can destroy now. I don't think there's anything here to destroy, but... I think we can actually kill the Golden Chosa just simply by walking into it. Which makes it a great re resource gathering spot. Unfortunately though, we are currently at the point of no return, like I said before. That we need to sneakily find our way into other sectors now instead of go through them because you have to pass a navigation room to do that and that's not a good idea. Not if you want to get everything, anyway. Alright. Alternatively, could have screw-tacked him, but I guess... That works, too. Alright. 
See, that room required screw attack. We're gonna save for a minute. And then we're gonna go back to that one area that we were at before. Don't gotta worry about you guys no more. Screw attack basically makes you invulnerable to most attacks. So long as you're twisting. And you're pretty much good. Eh, uh, hmm. Right, the only way to get in there is through another exit. I see. Well, we're gonna have to go down there now. Other direction. Also, going by this, there is only four more energy tanks that we can get, and I believe we can only get them via exploration now. I think we've gotten all the ones from bosses that we can get. Alright. Let's leave this creepy place. Alright. Power bomb. Why is this guy just hanging out? Kinda weird. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Why would they have these guys here unless there was something... Red X is very nice. Oh, they expect me to be in the acid to that. As one might have guessed. That is the route to get down there. For starters though, we're just gonna power bomb a couple times and see if there's anything we can get. Just in cases. Alright, so there's quite a few things we can get now in this place, considering the fact that, well, in order to get here to begin with, we needed to uh, have screw attack. Also, notice something very creepy. These shells are now everywhere. That'll be important for something later. When we get to that. Screw attack now just goes through these things like butter. So we have way beam, we don't have to worry about going to the wrong direction anymore. Alright, we want to get through that green door. This is when things become incredibly easy for backtracking.
Now, there's something I'm a little bit concerned about with this room. Is This room just seems too much like there's nothing in it. So there would be nothing in it. So we're just going to use a few of our power bombs to just graze over the areas. That might have something in it. Really doesn't feel like there shouldn't should be something here. I guess not. Here's another egg. Or shell. Do the power bomb. And nothing else here. Now we can leave. Hmm. I think we've actually 100% of this area. I could be wrong. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut here and end the episode off. And I'm gonna see just where exactly... Well, I guess we have no choice but to go forward because I don't think I know where the other thing is. So, we're gonna hit the navigation room in the next episode. If it ends up um, locking us out of the rest of the game, I will simply just restart from the save. See you guys in the next episode.